So welcome back everyone, Mike here, and welcome back to another crisp and cool day here in western Pennsylvania. It's another beautiful fall day here today. And by the way, the rut is on. I was just telling someone the other day, uh, this whole summer and early fall, I had not seen a buck out in the woods. I mean, I saw a couple wee little ones, a couple spikes, little four point, and then in the last two nights, I've seen five different buck all on the move. Uh, the other night I was over by the old apple orchard doing some brush hogging. I saw two over there. One of them was working a scrape. The other one was right in front of the tractor while the brush hog was running. And then uh, last night, I was out at the mini cabin there for about an hour before dark. I wasn't hunting. I was just kind of out there hanging out, seeing what was going on. And I saw five doe and two buck out there, a little four point and an eight point. And I got to watch them kind of pushing and sparring with one another for probably about 15 minutes. Now they weren't fighting real aggressively, but uh, they're definitely pushing each other around the woods. I would have liked to have got some video of it, but they're about, I don't know, 100, 125 yards away. And I was watching them through the binoculars. As a matter of fact, I was telling Melissa, it was almost like you're watching it on like a high definition TV nature show or something with the colors of the leaves and the deer fighting and the lighting. It was just beautiful. It was a really neat experience to be out there and see that. But anyway, that's not what today's video is about. I'll show you what I'm about to get into. I need to take this uh, last section of fence out here, this chain link from here down to the gate. Now I've taken a lot of this fence out so far, some with the uh, Kubota KX80 excavator I had on rent and some with the MX5400. With the tractor you got a wrench on it pretty good but I can get them out no problem at all with the tractor. But they are cemented in and what I found was I'm bending them all up, sometimes the post comes up, the concrete stays in the ground. So I think what I'm going to do with this section here is use the uh, backhoe on the BX to dig around them some and loosen them up and then be able to just pull them straight up out of the ground and uh, possibly reuse them somewhere down the road. I mean, they're nice fence posts and with the concrete on them, I'm thinking, you know, you could just dig a hole, plumb them up, you know, set them down in the hole, plumb it up, maybe pour another bag of concrete in there and you'd have another nice fence if you need one. So I'm going to try to save these posts by uh, digging around them first with the BX. We'll see how it goes. These are those uh, LED party lights. These work fantastic. Nice and heavy duty. They're like a, almost like a commercial light. And you can leave these up year round if you want. But I need to take this section down. All right, got the, uh, the lights down. Now I'm gonna take the chain link off and the top rail. And I'll be ready to go. Should have brought my impact gun. Melissa just came out to bring to my attention that we're having problems with the spigot in the house, so. We, yeah, so the thing needs, the thing It's needs spraying to be, water, yeah. basically. So we're gonna take care of that right now and then come back out to the fence project. Sounds good to me. Fence down and the top rail down. I'm 
going to take this uh, load of scrap wood down to the burn pit and then I'm going to come back up, I'll hop on the uh, BX23S and dig around those posts, start loosening them up. But i tell you what, I am not going to miss this gate right here, right behind me. When I built this fence, I had somebody build it, but when we did that, we just put in a 10-foot gate right there. All this was was a uh, four-wheeler path, you know, coming down into the woods. This was all trees in here, down where the sawmill is. On both sides of this road here, this was all woods. And I cleared all this to kind of get a work area here. So I wasn't planning at that point when we put the fence in that I'd need something wide. Uh, that one's a 10-footer, which, you know, I can get through with a dump trailer, but there's not much room on either side. And then when you have, like, triax loads of stone coming or log truck load of logs or, or whatever, uh, it's just too tight. It's too narrow. So if you're ever putting a gate in, even though you think you may never be going that direction, make sure you make it wider because at some point you may need it that way.
All right, they all came out very easy, except for the first one for some reason. It was stuck in there. Ended up pulling the post out of the concrete. So I'm gonna bring the uh, back over, dig that out of there. As you can see, it's pretty close to the surface right now. I don't wanna hit it later. And then I will uh, backfill these holes here, roll them in a little bit. I think they're saying it might rain a little bit this evening. We'll see what happens. So we got the uh, fence post out that was definitely easier than the last time we did it. Worked out really well digging around them. That's one less thing. Now we will have a fence that goes all the way around the building down into the front yard, but everything will be out a little bit further than what it was. And then we'll have another fence around the swimming pool as well, you know. So we'll have to do that as well. First thing in the spring after the pool's put in. But uh, yeah, things are coming along. They're progressing. Hopefully the weather uh, stays decent till we get all the outside stuff done, but in the next couple weeks we'll get the concrete poured inside and we'll have plenty of work to do inside. Now before we wrap this video up, I want to mention you're getting ready yeah, to publish another I video, am. aren't you? Yeah, I go to Morgan's Off the Leash and check out our new video. Morgan's Off the Leash. And the other thing is, tied up with the Morgans, that's our uh, daughter-in-law Kate and Levi. I watched a video she did the other day. She made milk out of corn. I didn't even know there was such a thing. I know. I had no idea. It was pretty interesting. You She's might want to tr videos. try it, uh, but it's tied up with the Morgans. I'll put it across the screen here so you can check it up. She does a lot of cooking videos, and you can see our grandson Ty in a lot of videos. And, and Kate, uh, our daughter-in-law, is from Thailand, so yeah. tied up with the Morgans is actually spelled T H. AI hyphen D. Right. Tied, tied up, up with the Morgans because she's tied up with the Morgans. <laughs> but anyway, I uh, I think that's it for today's video. Yep. And uh, like we always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. Thanks.